you're gonna be my test subject today. Don't be nervous, it's okay. It's my first time as well. I'm just going to put these gloves on. You look very nervous. Did no one give you a briefing? Oh, okay. I'll take you through it. So, you were abducted in the most, well, consensual way possible. We asked you in your dreams, and you were very okay with that. Plus, we'll be sending you back unharmed, and you won't remember a single thing, so I'm sure you'll be fine. So, first things first, um, we're gonna have a little look at you, alright? Every few hundred years, we take a human up to us to check and see if everything is working as it should, and if you are at the current state that you should be right now. Yes. So, if you don't mind me, just hold still. I'm just gonna have a little look at you with my light here. Okay, if it's a little bit bright, you can of course close your eyes, but for now, as best you can, just try to keep them open. Look at one spot for me. Good. You humans are quite fascinating to me. We have a bit of a mark here. I think that could be... Ah, oh, okay. It's just a bit of dirt. That's alright. Okay. Just hold still. Okay. You can also have a look at the ears here. describe your hearing. Okay, has anything changed over the last few months? Okay, and how about your vision? Any changes at all? Are you able to see things better in the dark, possibly? Okay, right, could you look up for me? Good, both eyes looking up. Perfect. Now can you look down for me? Without moving the head, just stay like this. Good. Okay. Now could you focus on the center of my face for me? Okay. Right. I suppose that's not going to be programmed in until another few hundred years, I suppose. Hmm. So, what we're going to be doing next, I'm going to set up some, some cables, okay? So, you just hold still for me. I'm actually just going to use a few clips here and just clip the hair out of the way here. If you are in any pain at all, do let me know. We have all the time in the world and outside your world. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. On the other side. Okay. Good. Mm hmm. Okay. Perfect. So if I just leave. that feel okay? Good. So, we're just going to apply the cables up here and they will just gently create a little vacuum, okay? So they will be uh, plopping themselves onto your scalp. Okay, it shouldn't hurt. It should just feel like a gentle little massage. Okay, just leave it like so. Alright, okay. So I'm going to code some stuff into your brain, alright? And just transfer some data, some of your memories. But no, nothing that could be embarrassing to you. I promise. Just the basics of how your brain works. Okay? 
okay so i'm just gonna type something down real quick okay so okay. have there been any upsets or any joyous occasions recently for you, haven't they? Mm-hmm. Yes. You do deserve a little vacation. Mm, I would definitely say so. Alright. That is all. Let me take these scales back off. Okay. Just move. a little bit now. Hmm. Perhaps the suction was a little too hard up here. I can give you a little scalp massage if you'd like. Sure. Okay. Just sit tight. Stuff. some gentle brushes, okay? Good. Alright then. I will collect my tools and I shall be right back. Good. So, first we are going to be collecting some skin samples. This brush here, okay? So, I just need you to hold very still for me. looks a little harsh. <laughs> it's 
actually just picking up a very, very fine layer on top of your skin where the dead skin cells tend to form. this up on the forehead, along the nose, along your cheeks, along your chin. Good. Whereabouts you are going and where you like to spend your time. There is actually so much information within skin cells. We're well aware of what you humans watch. <laughs> I believe it was first published in 2001. And one of the crew members would take a tiny, tiny piece of dirt out of uh, the fingernail of the main character who was underneath the fingernail. And only with that tiny little particle, he could tell where he came from and where the ancestors could possibly come from and all sorts of things. You'd be quite surprised what such a small thing can give away. So I'm going to be putting this into this container here. Good. Right. And next, I'm just going to be taking some hair samples. Okay. I'm just going to gently snip. Wiggle the fingers and it acts as a snipping motion. I'm just going to take very few hairs here. Okay, so those have landed on there, that's perfect. Okay, another plastic bag. in there and close it and cover it with your tongue. Good. Now I want you to count to ten for me in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open up. Good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. We don't need any blood samples, don't you worry. Mm. Okay, so we have saliva, hair and skin. That is perfect. Um, now that I've just been looking at your mouth, um, let's see, can you open up for me? Okay, good. Right. I'm just going to scan your mouth, okay? Just keep it open a little bit. Thank you. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Do you drink enough water? Very important. Also tea. Good for hydration. I mean, any liquid really, but tea and water are the best options. So, I have another little thing here, okay? Could you put out your finger for me and touch this lid here? And then put it in your mouth and tell me what that tastes like. Strawberry. Good. I'm going to use another. And again. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Yeah, good. A bit sour. And again, what about this one? Good. Chocolate. Very good. Okay, right. Continuing with the senses, I have three things here that you can smell for me, okay? But you have to close your eyes and gas. Okay. Right, close your eyes. What does this smell like? Banana. Mm hmm. Correct. Okay. Now, what about this one? Mm hmm. Broccoli. Good. Yeah. when chewing or swallowing your food? Okay. I ask because sometimes if you are riddled with thoughts of um, anxiety perhaps or you are having trouble falling asleep sometimes it can manifest in having um, troubles chewing or swallowing things so what I would recommend in those cases is that you watch something nice and really focus on what the person in the video is saying so that you don't even have to think about what you're doing. You basically switch onto autopilot, right? Good. That is essentially the best way to do it in every case. A lot of people tend to be a little scared of the body's autopilot function, but it is simply keeping you alive and safe. So, if you are going through it, as they say, the best way through it is to simply go through. Just wanted to let you know. And of course, if you should need any help at all, do let us know. Well, we don't have a phone number per se, but if you speak it into the universe, we will provide you with some help. Good. All right. Now, next we're going to focus on your ears. Okay? Your ability to hear some nice sounds. Okay. Close your eyes for me. Close them. I'm going to be making these sounds, okay, in both your ears. I want you to tell me in which ear it stops, okay? For instance, which ear did it stop? Mm -hmm. Good. Your eyes. 
colours next. Alright, so just uh, randomly, what colour is my hair to you? Um, can you see any other colour in this room? Okay, and what colour is that? Perfect, okay, good. Can you do me a favour and focus on one of these fingers? With your eyes? Don't move the hat, just keep it still, good. Mm-hmm, just focus on one of those fingers, just one of them. Okay, excellent job a bit faster here and now switch to the other finger okay perfect doing a good job and switch back again mm -hmm. okay wonderful okay now if you keep your face centered like so and you also keep your eyes centered in the middle of my face I'm going to be moving one of these fingers, okay? You have to tell me which one, without looking, where you stay centred here. Right? Good. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Wonderful. A bit further back. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. This way around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, closer. Perfect. Okay. Let me tuck around the skin here. Just look up if you need to. Okay. Good. It's looking alright, isn't it? I want you to close your eyes tightly, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and open them. You have to resist. Good. Wonderful. Okay. Now, can you frown for me? And I'm going to try and loosen that frown, but you're not allowed to stop. Angry face. Angry face. Okay, relax again. Good. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Can you puff out your cheeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to apply light pressure here. Mm -hmm. Gonna press a little bit. Okay, just keep them like that. Good, okay. And now can you make a sad face? Like pulling. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And now smile for me. Big, big, big smile. A wonderful smile. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I'm going to have another tiny look with my flashlight, and after that, we can move on to the next step. Okay. So, let me just okay. stay focused on the center of my face. Okay, I'm gonna have a little look at your peripheral vision here, see what the pupil is doing. I'm going to cover one eye, okay? Perfect. Stay focused. Good. The other side. Just... Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Now let me have another little look at your skin. Would you say you have sensitive skin, dry skin, oily skin, combination? Mm-hmm. And would you say that you have difficulty telling whether or not a uh, an object is sharp or soft on your face? Okay, right. So in that case, we're just going to take one of these clips here. Okay. And this is the sharper object, and my finger will be the dull, soft object. Okay. So we're just going to poke, 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 poke your face. Okay. And you tell me whether or not the object touching your face was sharp or soft. Okay? Wonderful. Okay. You have to close your eyes, of course. <laughs> okay. So we'll just poke. Mm-hmm. Poke. 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 
Red This one is 5 degrees Celsius, and this one is 50 degrees Celsius, right? So I'm going to be pointing different points on your face, and you tell me whether it's hot or cold. Okay? Very good. So I'm going to start. Just close your eyes. of the outside world lingering on you. I'm going to give you a tiny little jab in a minute, okay? Just a little poke, and it should send you into a beautiful, beautiful sleep. And when you wake up again, you will be in your fluffy bed, okay? Safe and sound. A lot of our patients, when we review them a few days later, they seem a lot more relaxed after this, which is always nice. Sleep well.